welcome back children in the geography part 9 uh, last video we have seen how the monsoon advances in india it begins on the 1st june covering the coast of kerala and covers the whole india by 15th july now in this video at the end of this class you will be able to learn about the retreating monsoons the withdrawal or retreat of the monsoons is a gradual process. The withdrawal of the monsoons begins in the northwestern state of India by early September. By mid-October, it withdraws completely from the northern half of the peninsula. The withdrawal from the southern half of the peninsula is fairly rapid. By early December, the monsoon withdraws from the rest of the country. Coming back to the rotation and revolution of the earth, on 23rd September, the rays of the sun falls directly on the equator. So, the planet earth will have equal day and night. But, from 23rd September onwards, the southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. The southern hemisphere receives vertical rays of the sun whereas the northern hemisphere where even India lies receives oblique or slanting rays of the sun. So the night becomes longer and the days becomes shorter and this gives rise to the winter conditions. In the northern part of India the temperature starts decreasing and the pressure starts increasing. The monsoon trough of the low pressure turns weaker and it is progressively replaced by the high pressure. Early we have seen that ITCZ zone shifts northward towards the Tropic of Cancer because of which the southwest monsoon winds have developed. But after 23rd September the ITCZ starts shifting southward now the low pressure conditions are developed in the Indian Ocean. So, the India, the southwest monsoons starts retreating from the north India in the early October. Now, it is a transition period between the rainy season and the cold and dry seasons. That means, we are moving from rainy season gradually towards the cold and dry season. Hence, the month of October and November are known for the retreating monsoon. The retreating monsoon is marked by the clear cloudless sky and drop in the night temperature but the land still remains moist. The combination of high temperature and humidity gives rise to an oppressive weather and it is commonly known as October heat. Now the low pressure conditions now are transferred to the center of Bay of Bengal by early November. This shift of low pressure area is marked by the cyclonic depression which originate over the Andaman which lies between 12 degrees north and 17 degrees north and travel west or northwest over the West Bengal. It results in heavy and widespread rain on the coast of Tamil Nadu and parts of Odisha. These winds also result in storms. These storms are caused by tropical depression that is a low pressure system which is originating in the Bay of Bengal caused by the local variations of heat and moisture. Whenever these storms occur they cause great loss of life and property due to heavy rains in the eastern coastal regions of India. The areas vulnerable to these storms are the coastal regions of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and West Bengal. Later, they take U-turn and move towards the northeast. Many of the cyclones which strike the eastern coast of India, that is 15 degrees north, cross the southern peninsula and enter Arabian Sea. During this process, they may weaken but on re on reentry over the arabian sea they intensify into cyclonic storms the storms of arabian sea originate between 
12 degrees north and 17 degrees north latitudes in october and between 8 degrees north and 13 degrees north latitudes in november generally they move away from the coast in a northwesterly direction but about 25% of them later take a u turn to northeast and strike or hit maharashtra and gujarat coast the retreating monsoons are generally dry except on the coastal areas of tamil nadu odisha and parts of karnataka the reason is when they are blowing over bay of bengal they collect moisture the interior parts of the deccan plateau remains dry because they lie in the rain shadow regions of the eastern ghats the cold weather season commences at the end of november and continues till march the skies are relatively clear with the pleasantly warm the mean temperature in the northern plains is below 20 degrees celsius and gets even lower in the himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir punjab and haryana in winter season january is the coldest month the temperature remains quite low during the winter months over the indian subcontinent the mean maximum temperature for the month of january at trivandrum is as high as 31 degrees celsius at calicut it is 26 degrees celsius whereas at chennai 24 degrees celsius when we come towards north varanasi it is 16 degrees celsius and if we go further north jammu it is 10 degrees celsius so the temperature decreases from south towards the north the dras valley in the kashmir which is near kargil records a maximum temperature of minus 45 degrees celsius so it is the coldest place in india and the excessive cold in the north india